Hi guys, I'm Bobsy, and in this video, I'm going to go over how you set up a dedicated server with Fishnet. Now, this video is sponsored by Playflow, and it's a sponsorship I'm very excited about because Playflow is a service I really wanted to use myself and wanted to show to you guys. I've worked with it before, and I very much like it. It is also very affordable and scalable. Playflow is also so kind as to provide a 50% off coupon code for the studio plan's first month. So, it's only $5 for a dedicated server with near instant deployment. All you need to do is enter code BOBSY50 at checkout. And please let Playflow know in the comments how much we truly appreciate their support. First of all, I'm using the basic setup from my animation or how to do network animations. So all of this setup is already done. And if you're not familiar with Fishnet and Unity Multiplayer, click the top right corner right now and you'll go to the initial setup video. Now with these things in place, let's also just make sure that of course, as you always want with Unity, you want to make sure that your scene is actually set up in your build settings. And then lastly, I also have this connection starter setup. If this is not something you're familiar with, you can go look at my video on how I set up my Unity projects when I work with Fishnet. I always have a connection starter that I can always just fairly easily modify to what I want and that also works with parallel sync. Now first things first you want to go to the Unity Asset Store and you just want to search for Playflow. Here you'll find Playflow Cloud. You'll open up this one then you'll just add it to your library and open in Unity and once that's imported you're pretty much ready to go. Now one thing that's really important to note as well is that it's also in their setup Unity modules. You need all the Linux modules if you're on 2021.2 and above. If you are below you'll need these following modules. This is in order for it to be able to set up the server stuff correctly. Once you make sure that everything is ready and by the way the way that you set up those modules is you go to your installs you can click up here you can click add modules and then you can just select them here and click continue and it'll install them with that in place now we can go up to the playflow tab and click playflow cloud and in here this is the first page that you'll be prompted with when it's fresh in your game we can click get token then we'll be prompted to the playflow website where you'll have to log in in my case i'm already logged in as you can see here as popsy you will always be prompted with a free project which is what i have right here so i can just go on to view project and then i can click copy my API token. Going back, I can just paste the token in here and that's really it. Now from here, I can go to the publish build settings and make sure that you have selected the scene that you want the server to start in. And then we can just click upload server. Now that this is done, you'll be able to see in the console, we can see server status, server uploaded successfully. Now it says, wait a few minutes for the uploaded server to be ready to be deployed. Deployed means that the server is successfully uploaded to the Playflow cloud and ready to be launched anywhere in the world. We can click get upload status. And if I fold this one out, you'll be able to see. You can see I've already made a test upload. That's why this one is named two. And then we can see exactly when this was uploaded. Now opening up the launch servers tab. This is what we'll need now. You can put arguments in here. In my case, we don't actually need it. You can select the location of your server. They have plenty of server locations as well. You can select your instance type and size, and then you can press start server. As you can see here, the status is now launching. And if we go down to manage servers and refresh server list, you can see the server will show up here once it's ready and done. And then we can just make sure click get status. And as you can see, it's not completely online yet. It is being deployed right now. But as you can see, we have an IP of 000, which is obviously no good. Now, while we're waiting for this, you can go on to your network manager, make sure that you have the tugboat component and where it says local host is where we'll need to insert the IP address. The port we'll be using for the free version here is just the port that the server build was uploaded with. So I'm just going to keep it to the default. And here we go. Now you can see as I click get status, we now have an IP address. So let's just go ahead, mark that and grab it, throw it into our client address. And I'll just make sure that here I'm set up as client so I don't actually try and host the server and press play. And here we go. We're now connected. As you can see, it's only the client that started. And yeah, this just works. Now for good measure, let me just go ahead and open a clone and let's test it with two players. And as you can see here, which is perfectly fine, connected. Both instances are now connected just as clients and the dedicated server works just fine. You can see we have a surprisingly low ping as well of just somewhere between like seven and 30, which is very good. This is, remember this is just free, the tiniest server instance and so on. As far as I'm aware, the server instance stays online for a little bit, but of course, if you want online for longer and more powerful servers, you're gonna have to pay with the pay plans, you're also able to deploy servers across the world in an instant. So yeah, I hope this was helpful to you. Thank you once again very much to Playful and please do go check them out. It is immensely useful and something that I myself use and something I can greatly recommend for you guys to use as well. Thank you very much for watching. Please do remember to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And I just hope that you have a wonderful day.